Hi guys, this is Joycey J, and I'm coming at you with another video. And guys, this time it's gonna be a DIY. Now I recently redid my laundry room and I made three signs that said wash, dry, fold. Now what I'm going to do guys, I'm gonna do another sign that says and. Unfortunately, my fold sign got destroyed, so I couldn't find the same um, frame, size frame, so this time I had a smaller frame, so I'm just going to improvise. Now guys, this is what I'm gonna be using. I have some contact paper here in the back. It's the contact paper. We do have scissors. We have a sponge, and we also have acrylic black paint and gloss. Also, we have some stencils here, and we also have a frame. Now this is just a cheap dollar frame from the dollar store, okay? Okay guys, so let's get into it. Okay guys, what we're gonna do first, I'm going to start measuring my contact paper to fit my glass, okay? So I'm just gonna kinda measure it here and I'm gonna start cutting. Doesn't have to be super perfect because you can have a little room on the side. It's best because you wanna be able to Tuck it under, okay? So it doesn't have to be totally perfect. So on this side, it looks like I have more paper on this side, okay, which I do. Okay, guys, so we're gonna do this. Get it all cut through. All right, let's get it all going. Righty. Just gonna leave a little room to tuck. And guys, like I said, I just recently redid my laundry room, and this is just one of the DIY signs I made for my laundry room. Okay. So now I just turn it around and contact paper is sticky. Okay, guys, I'm peeling off the contact paper from the adhesive. All right, turning this around. And guys, make sure you don't press it too hard because you wanna be able to lift it back up, okay? So let's get this started on this side. So the part of it's gonna be in the frame, so if you don't get it all, don't worry about it. Okay, and you're gonna have a little bubble, so you wanna go back if you can, lift it up, those bubbles out, and let's get this going. Okay. And contact paper, guys, I just got this at the dollar store. And don't have to spend a lot of money. Okay, so like I said, this has a lot, if it has a lot on the bottom, you just tuck it in, tuck it in. Now this one I'm not gonna worry about on this side because like I said, it's gonna be inside the frame. If you can, if you want, you can cut it off. Okay, having trouble with that little knife there. Okay guys, now I'm gonna use my stencils. I've used these before. Okay, and we're gonna spell the word and. Okay, so what I do, I just kind of sit this here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my acrylic paint. Go ahead and shake that up. Just put a little bit there. Paper plate. And then you just position where you want. I'm gonna do and, so I'm gonna kind of see where I want this to be. I'm gonna kind of use these as my guide. Okay, so that's gonna be there. That'll start there, so. Okay, so let's start with the A. Okay, so guys, this is simple, easy, hold it, and then just start dabbing. Simple, easy. Doesn't take long. You wanna get a good amount of um, acrylic paint on there at first. Make sure you hold your paint, your thing steady. 
once you get a good enough paint on there, I just do something like this. Give it a second and lift. All right, there's the A. Looks like I got a little bit of the B there. And I'm just gonna wipe that off with a sponge. Just that little part off with the sponge. You just have a damp sponge with you. Go ahead and just wipe that part off. Okay, it only takes a second. And there we go. I got my A. All right, guys, now for the N. Let that dry a little bit. You wanna be careful. Let that dry a little bit. And I'm gonna put my in about here. Get it in a little closer. More acrylic black paint and gloss. Careful of the one that you did before. Be super careful. And then begin. Hold down each section that you want to do. Hold down this one. And acrylic dries pretty fast too, guys. Like I said, this doesn't, doesn't take long, okay? Let's just give it a good fan wave. Like I said, this is something easy you can do. My laundry room has the blue, the white, and the black. So that's why I'm using the blue and white paper and I think it's pretty, it has flowers on it. So let's lift that one up, ta-da! All right, like I said, if you have any mess, you can just trim it, fix it. There we go. Like that and let that dry for a second. So far, so good. Okay, last but not least, is the D. All right. Well, this one is connected with the C, so I'm just gonna pop this out. And I'm gonna add the D. I'm just gonna kind of fold it up just a little bit so it won't go on that side. And then the kit, it comes with a whole lot, so. Here we go, just watch it, watch the hands here. And it comes with a lot in the kit, so. Okay, same thing. Quick and easy. As quick as you can. Make sure it's nice and straight. Eep. Like I said, guys, you can always do make signs. You can even do this on the wall if you like. You know, you can make it permanent, but I'm not doing permanent. I'm just making the laundry room signs. Okay. okay. Like I said, just give it a good little fan wave. Get that going. And let's lift. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and you can always just straighten it out if it runs a little bit, like I'm doing, just straighten it out a little bit. I say, guys, this is simple and easy. And this is my and sign. Like I said, I have wash and dry, but my fold I said, got damaged, so I decided to make an and. Okay, perfect. Hi guys, so why that's cooling, not cooling down, but drying. <laughs> okay, now we're just gonna move this over, and then you're gonna get your frame, just a, like I said, just a cheap dollar frame from the dollar store. So I'm gonna gently 
slip this inside here. Already put up the little tabs. So I'm just gonna lay this in here. Gently, if I can. Sometimes the tabs need to be up a little bit more. Probably on each side. Let's get that in there. Okay, ah, okay. Like I said, it dries fast, so I'm gonna put my tabs down. And plus this has like, a, it's raised a little bit, so I wasn't laying it flat on my, on my thing. Okay, there it is. But if you want, you can put that on the back which I probably should do. <laughs> okay, so Anne, yeah, put that on there, sorry. <laughs> Let's put that on there. Let's add that on. There we go, quick and easy, the and sign. I don't know if you can see it. Quick and easy, guys. And all right, guys, and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the finished product in my laundry room. I'll see you. All right, guys, welcome to my laundry room. Okay, guys, I just wanna give you a quick overview of my laundry room. All right. This one I did maybe, hmm, uh, I did this last year. So this is the quick overview of my laundry room. Okay, and this is what I redid. I'm gonna back up so you guys can see as well. Do the laundry baskets. Okay guys, now here is the end results. Look at that, wash, and dry I did it so like I said guys I had wash fold and or fold and dry but it got damaged so there's the end and this is my laundry room like I said my baskets are down here got the baskets here they say laundry all my baskets and my wall I, I repainted this wall it was white. And then you see the see you later that goes out to my garage, my uh, two car garage. And guys, and this is actually my new washing machine. If you guys wanna take a look at that. Really nice, really, really nice. Huge insides, beautiful inside, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, just got this maybe two weeks ago. This is up here, and this up here says, you wash all dry. All right, guys, so I hope you like this video. Like I said, anybody can do it. You can spruce up your laundry room any way you want. These here, this laundry room, um, I did order that online. It was only like about $5. And I just went ahead and attached that to the wall. All right, guys, and like I said, I hope you liked my laundry room sign all right guys and i shall see you later bye bye